Welcome back to the Missing Digit Garage. Today's tires. Working on some tires today. I'm getting rid of my, uh, or actually I'm taking them off. That's the Maxxis uh, Buckshots. I hate them. I hate them. No matter where I go, every ride, I'm putting plugs in them. Every time I go out, I'm plugging them. Sticks. There's These things are a stick magnet. They're not a chick magnet. They're a stick magnet. There's plugs all over these things. Inside the si sidewalls. Inside the treads. Inside, I, I literally have over 30 plugs in these tires. And uh, you can see I got them everywhere. Plugs everywhere in these tires. And they're chunking real bad too. They're starting to chunk out. I don't know if the V8 has anything to do with that or not, but another plug. Anyways, I'm just sick of them. I went to the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss, and uh, I'm going to give these a try. I've been running them on my Cherokee with really good luck, and uh, going the same places that I go in my CJ, well, almost the same places, but I've only picked up two plugs on my Cherokee and so I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought five of these new wheels bought the cheap steel wheels you know those Chinese ones that way I can bang them up and bang them back with a hammer and uh, the 35 inch Baja Boss by Mickey Thompson I've been having real good luck with those so I'm gonna see how they work out on the on the old YJ5 here Actually, it's a CJ. It's a 64 CJ tub. And I stretched the frame a little bit. And so I had to hide the stretch with the YJ hood and clip up front, YJ clip. Anyways, we're going we're gonna to swap these tires out and do a little review on them, see how they do.
Okay, we've been running these Baja bosses on this rig here for a while. Let me pull the cover off of one of these things here. And I am very, very pleased with them so far. There's not one plug in these tires yet. At all, there's no plugs. Let's put it that way. And uh, they're pretty tough. And they'll go down into the single digits on, t on uh, air pressure without flexing the sidewall too much. Um, so they're a pretty tough carcass there. I don't think they're the best tire for sand. But as far as rocks and... I really haven't tried them in a lot of mud yet. But not that there's very much mud out here in Arizona. But there's definitely a lot of sand and rocks and washes. As far as the sand dunes go... We live real close to Glamis and, and uh, Gordon's Wells and Buttercup, the Imperial Sand Dunes. We live real close to there. I'll have to get them out there and uh, try them out. See how they do on the big sand dunes. And as far as the Cherokee, I've been running them for probably for about two years. I've been running them for two years. When I bought this Cherokee, these Baja bosses were on it. That's how I got onto these things, just by mistake. They just happened to be on a rig that I bought. And I've been running them. I've had this rig about two years now. And in two years, there is only two plugs in all four of these tires. And uh, they're really good. I'm really happy with them. These are, these are in single digits also. This is... I'm guessing there's probably about seven pounds in there. I could get a gauge and check it out real quick. I'll do that. I couldn't find my low pressure gauge. I tried my normal tire gauge to do the tire pressure. It wouldn't even move the needle. But I guarantee you I'm down into single digits, way into the single digits on these tires. But that'll give you an idea of the, the sidewall flex that these tires have. There's a little different view there. You can see there's not much bulge at all on those tires. They're, yeah, they're, they're way under 10 pounds. But uh, anyways, good durable tire. Like them so far. All right, folks. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Toodaloo from Missing Digit Garage.